Hello, 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 everyone. Hey, guys. Say hello as you come in. It's Brenda with Reese by Busy Bees Custom Creations. Hey, hey, hey. It's Monday night again. Woohoo! Monday, Monday. Manic Monday. Hey, Cecilia, how are you? Hey, 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 Kathy. Hey, Pat. How are you guys? All righty. We are going to make a wreath with this sign. Hey, Jane. Hey, Maggie. Love this sign. I think it's so cute. I think I got this from Craft Outlet. Hey, Muriel. I'm okay. My cold keeps going in and out, so my voice goes in and out, so if it gets kind of scratchy, you'll know why. Hey, Janice. Um, and we're going to be using this mesh. This is actually a, hey, Peggy, a 12-inch mesh from Michaels, so it's a little wider than the 10-inch, um, so we'll see how that goes. And then look at this, you guys. It's like they made it. Hey, Betty. Look at that. Isn't that match? Like, of course they made the sign to match or the ribbon with the sign. I don't know which one, but it's perfect. Let me um, fix this camera angle a little bit. It looks funky. That's a little better. Hopefully that's better. Okay. Alrighty. Woof, woof. Okay, let's get started. I. It's not a sore throat. It's just... um. I'm congested and I have a cough and it just doesn't want to go away so I don't know it just yeah it's day today's day 15 with it so fun 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 <laughs> all right so I cut these to 20 inches hey Pam how are you so we're gonna um, please like share and follow my page if you guys would <clears throat> get this out of the way Alrighty, I know exactly the yuck. So we're going to kind of do the pancake method. Now this does not have any place where you can kind of see the middle like some of the um, the normal ones that I've used. So we're going to kind of, you know, kind of pick a center one and go with that. So you kind of want to stay on this line. That's a good way to kind of know where your center line is. If you don't have a mesh, thanks Marianne, if you don't have a mesh that there's like a uh, you know, like the metallic has that, you know, maybe thick line down the middle. That's a good way. Fold it in half and find where your center is and then just kind of try to gather within that center. <clears throat> That's me, Muriel. That is exactly me. Um, and it just hangs on for dear life and never wants to go away. So... And my voice comes in and out. One second will be fine, and the next second it's all crackly and crunchy and not fun. So, so yeah. So what are you gonna do? Thanks, Tabitha. How are you today? So we're gonna do this pancake method again that I love so much. I'm gonna put that in there. You know, I have not been to my Hobby Lobby in a long time, to be honest, so I don't even know what it has out, Kathy. I have not been to my Hobby Lobby in months, because it's about, I don't know, 40 minutes away, so I really have not been in a long time. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Right, let me make sure that that's working. All right, so my bot should be working, so hopefully guys um, put live in you should be getting yes like share and follow yes thank you thank you thank you Carla yeah this is like I said this is day 15 for this lovely mess of a cold for me so yeah I'll be 56 this year so <clears throat> but I was diagnosed with celiac about I guess about 10 11 years ago now and I mean I always got sick but ever since then I just I really I get colds and they just hold on for dear life so 
yes, if you could share. Yeah, yep, it's a Dollar Tree frame. 99.9% .9 of the time I use Dollar Tree frames. Oh no. <clears throat> um, you just try, Luann, you just have to try not to work it a lot. Um, if you don't play with it a lot, it won't unravel as much. The more you play with your mesh, the more it's going to unravel, unfortunately. So if you just try to play with it as little as possible, it will unravel less. <clears throat> Okay, good. <clears throat> Painting pine cones. Ugh, that sounds like a tedious task. So how was everyone's weekend? Uh, the only thing I did was kind of lay on my, the couch, except for I did go to my son's, my grandson's game on Saturday, and then I paid for it on Sunday. Hey, Johnny, because I was sick as a dog on Sunday. <clears throat> with this silly cold. Hey Maddie. I have six on the top and six on the bottom, Kathy. It's the, um, it's Melly Mel's can um, pancake recipe. There are six pipe cleaners on the bottom and six pipe cleaners on the top. When I get this one in, I'll show you how it's set. It's a little different than I normally do it on my normal, um, session. Hey Fran. Uh, it comes and goes, Fran. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, so if you can see this, how Melly Mel does it is, um, sh so for each, like this is a section right here, right? On the inner ring, she puts one on the very inner ring, and then in between those two on the third ring, she puts it. So that's how um, <clears throat> she sets it up for the for the um, pancake wreath. Now, when I do my normal wreath, I put a half pipe cleaner here, but we're doing the pancake method, so we're not doing that tonight. <clears throat> I've seen those pine wreaths and they're beautiful, but um, I don't think I have the patience to do one of those. It was a beautiful day here today. It was in the high 60s, low 70s. It was so nice here today. It was really pretty. <clears throat> hey Debbie, how are you? And I've been drinking tea with lemon and honey like crazy. Like that's all I have been drinking. <clears throat> like <clears throat> to try and get rid of this thing, but and there goes my voice. Told you it just goes in and out, in and out. <clears throat> the mesh is cut to 20 inches. And my ribbon strips are cut to 12 inches. So it's um, <clears throat> Melly Mel's like typical pancake recipe. She does the mesh at 20 inches and then she cuts the ribbons at 12 inches. I know, you know what, Kathy, I keep telling my husband, I, if this lingers on for a couple more days, I think I'm going to call the doctors. Uh, I think you're having the same weather there, Annette. 99 in Jacksonville, Florida. Whew, that's a hot one. <clears throat> yeah, it just hangs on for dear life with me. But honestly, this is it, this is what happens with me. So it just, you know grabs a hold of me and doesn't want to let go. And then you just kind of want to curl that, kind of turn the edges under so that it stays as flat as possible. So you see how flat that is so far? Hey Alberta, how are you? 
It's hot in Middleton too? I'm sure. I can't even imagine how hot it is. It's it's it was a beautiful day here today. It was like the perfect weather day. It was a nice cool breeze. But it was sunny. <clears throat> it was a nice day. Oh, you, yeah, see, and that's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid if I go to the doctors, they're going to say, no, it's just a cold. Um, what year was it? My, my one grandson is two years old. Hey, Tammy, how are you? How you feeling, girl? Hope you're feeling better. Tammy Hodges is in the house. She just had surgery. Making one of Melly Mel's pancakes for you, Tammy. Okay, so there is the bottom layer. Hey, Lynn, how's it going? Now, what she does is she goes ahead and she puts the, um, these are my ribbons to go with this. What's I do with the sign? Uh, to go with the sign, and we're going to put those in next. And I'm thinking, which I don't know yet, I have these. And then I have, hey Carol, how are you? So these are cut to 12 inches. And I just take them and fold them in half. And gather them together. Put them in here. <coughs> uh, Melly Mel is a designer. Um, her page is called sincerely creative and she was the one that came up with I know isn't it great Tammy she was the one that came up with the um, pancake method the mesh is cut to um, 20 inches now what I'm thinking is I love this ribbon if you got this is from is it from Costco this is from Costco last year you guys I must have bought four rolls of this because I love this so much so what I'm thinking of doing is, and let me cut one and just try it and see, because I didn't want to cut it, because I wasn't sure what I was going to do. Hey, Steven, how you doing, buddy? How's your back? So all I did was fold it in half and overlap it a little bit and kind of make a little bow and put it on top. The sign I got from um, Craft Outlet. Yeah, I think I am going to do it. But, hmm. From Pixie? No, I don't think... I know, Annette. I, I, love, I love this ribbon. I, I think this is my favorite all-time ever ribbon. I just love it. Okay, then I'm going to cut that off and tuck that under. Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of bring these up to the front there, so it looks like that, okay? <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do. I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay, so then let me cut some more of those. I'm just going to do that real quick. Sorry, like I said, I, didn't, I usually have my stuff cut. But I wasn't sure how I wanted to do it. Um, and I didn't want to cut it and then not use it. Alright, so we'll just cut it to the door. Alright. I know. We'll see. I might just end up doing it on the bottom. So at least you see them on the bottom, maybe. They've gotten worse, Stephen? Oh, no. That's awful. I cannot imagine the pain that you are in either. All right. You poor thing. I don't even know what to say. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to kind of fold this over. Kind of tuck that in there. 
<clears throat> and then get one of these and I just overlap it just a little bit and then fold it in half the sign came from craft outlet and then tuck that in there Sorry. Can you guys see me? Oh, I don't know why. There we go. Whoops. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I know I love Craft Outlet too. Whoops. Love them, love them, love them. So do you guys have any fun plans this week? Hey Nancy, how are you? Sorry about that, my camera went awful wacky and I put my phone on Do Not Disturb. I don't know why it rang, sorry about that. Okay, I'm gonna kind of get that. Um, Deb, if you just um, share this live, then it'll be on your page and you can watch it from the beginning. Okay, again, this one's cut to 16 inches. I just overlap it just probably about a half an inch. Hey, Linda, and then I fold it in half and then I gather it together. Yep, this is a pancake one. Oh, I know, I'm so sorry, Stephen. That's awful. I'm telling you, I had a bulging disc and herniated disc and that was the worst pain I've ever been in, so I can't imagine what you're going through on a daily basis. Hey, Trisha. The ribbon for the bows is 16 inches. Okay. Hey, Trisha, thank you. Yes, the um, mesh is cut to 20 inches, and the ribbons are cut to 12 inches. And then the little one for the for the bow is cut to 16 inches. <clears throat> I know I love these. I love this method. And I just use a 14 inch um, wreath frame. And I do have this listed in my Etsy shop if anybody's interested. I have the listing. I know, mine too, Trisha. I know. I hear you. I'm the same way. In fact, I have a square one I'm going to make. I have a square one I'm going to try. Um, I have a square wreath frame. I have a, um, a um, my nephew's um, wife is pregnant. So I have a square sign that I'm going to make in a square frame. So I'm actually going to do the pancake method on a square one. Um, I don't know. I think, yeah, I got, I got that ribbon at Craft Outlet as well. Yes. Yep. Um, yeah, I got it a while ago. So, I mean, I, they should still have it. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Okay. Hey, Elena, how are you? Thank you everyone for watching. If you're new to my page, don't get alerts. Just type in live and then follow the directions that my bot is giving you. I also have a um, YouTube channel. Thanks, Nancy. <coughs> Thanks, Deb. All right. So again, these are cut, my regular tails are cut to 12 inches. These are cut to 16 inches. I fold it in half and then fold that in half. Hey, Reba, how are you? 
Hey, Sarah. And then fold that in half again. And then just tie that in there good. Hey, Dottie, how are you? Welcome to my page if you're new. Okay, and then just kind of make the little bow. Look how cute that is. I love this. I love the colors of fall. What is everyone's favorite colors? Is it fall? Is it summer? Is it the Christmas colors? The spring colors? I don't know. I guess I guess you kind of get sick of every kind of, hey Deb, how's it going? Like when you make wreaths for a while, I think I kind of, hey Marianne, I kind of get sick of every season and then it's like, oh, it's fall. It's time to make fall. Yes, I love the fall colors. <laughs> But I do like the fall colors. Okay, yeah, me too, Luann. Fold it in half, just overlap it a little bit. Yep, I think the same thing. You love fall? I know, I just love the colors of them. Teal and hot pink, woo! You go, girl. <clears throat> oh, the beach tree? I don't make that many fall. <laughs> hey, Sarah. All right, so that is the bottom row, okay? So now, like, I don't even know. Like, this sign is so big, I'm wondering if we even need to do... I'm wondering if we... I think if we do the row... I think if we add another row, it's going to... It's just going to, um, I don't know. Let me try one. Let me just try one because I don't want to waste the material. You know what I mean? Like, um, I would rather price it lower and not waste material than waste the material and then you not even see it. You know what I mean? Are you guys like that? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. <coughs> Maybe it's just me. Let me try it. Let me just try one. Okay, so I'm going to put this one in. And we're going to go ahead and put the, um, yeah, I think it will too. But I'm just going to try it and see what I think. And then we'll go from there. But I think it will get lost too. I think so too. Because it's going to cover it up. Let's just see what we think. Okay. All right. So I'm going to um, see. Let me see if we just add. Oh, Trisha, that's a good idea. I was thinking the same thing. Maybe just some tails in here. Hey, Deborah, how are you? Let me just see what that looks like and see how we like that. Never done that before, but I'm going to give it a shot. Great minds think alike, Trisha. We just put the um, ribbons in and get them looking this way. See what we think. Or maybe just the um, plaids. Let's see. See what we think. Let's see what we think. <coughs> Yeah, I don't like that extra layer either. I got this from Craft Outlet. Or maybe just the pumpkin since the plaid's in that. What do you guys think? The plaid's, let me try one with just pumpkins and see if we like that. You know, it never hurts to experiment. Because... Try that, and then let me try this one. Yeah, I think just the pumpkins. I think so too, but I'm going to put one of these, and we'll see which way we like it best. Because <coughs> I don't want to cover up my bows. Don't want to do that. Okay. Okay. 
All right, so I think, I think maybe just the pumpkins. Let's see. <laughs> pumpkins, the plaid, the pumpkins, the plaid, the pumpkins, the plaid, the pumpkins, the plaid. Pumpkins, the plaid gets lost. Yeah, I think the plaids, um, it kind of blends in too much. Okay, we're going with the pumpkins. Oops, pumpkin. <laughs> got to try it, right? You got to try different things. Okay. Now I'm going to tuck those under for now because I might use just Let's see what we do here. <coughs> oh, I got that one. I got that one already. Okay. I'm going to take the plaid out. I know, right? You got to try different things. Because you don't don't know what you like until you try it. And you know, sometimes you try, you think it's going to turn out one way, and then you're like, mm, I don't like it. So you got to go a totally different direction, and that's okay. Yeah, you got to, don't be afraid to change things because there's no wrong, there's no rules in wreathing. There's no wrong things in wreathing. So you can't be afraid to try different things because you don't know if it's going to work unless you try it. So, don't be afraid to try different things. Okay, I'm going to tuck that under. Because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And if it doesn't, that's okay. Because you always learn from it, right? So, it's not that it's wrong. It just didn't work. Exactly, Trisha, right? Sometimes you think something's going to be a certain way and then you work on it and it's like, nope, I totally don't like that. And that's okay. <clears throat> and something you think is going to work doesn't. So, it all works out in the end. Yep, and everybody likes different things. Oh, I gotta find, I have little pumpkins somewhere too. I have to find them. <clears throat> I haven't, I started pulling out my fall stuff, but I haven't gotten everything out yet, so. All right. So now, what I was thinking was, let's see, if I, this. I want to not that one. This one. Okay. I want to do um more than just the two because I don't want it to go side to side either. Hey Jerry Lynn, how are you? So, I have one. <clears throat> okay, so we'll use that one here. So what I'm doing is, is I'm finding where this other one is. It might not be right across, but that's okay. I just want to kind of use the 
the pipe cleaners that I have. And this is just a little metal hole, jewelry hole punch. And I'm just going to punch it and push that through. It's going to go through. Let's do it this way. through the other way so where there's a will there's a way <clears throat> I know I just started pulling out my fall stuff the other day because I, I wanted to make some fall things so I um, started pulling stuff out and oops I untwisted that Ooh, wrong way I mean, I still have some of my spring-summer stuff out, but um, I kind of am in transition. Okay, so I want one over here. About there. Okay. And these holes are a little smaller. Oh my goodness, I had borrowed my daughter-in-law's Cricut, and I just love it. Um, so I was really debating if I want to get one or not. But I'm hoping, hoping, maybe, I'll win one. <laughs> I don't know. So it's a stretch, but you know. <clears throat> It's a stretch, but you know, I can dream. Okay, I'm just going to tuck that under and fluff out my bows and fix this stuff. Yes, it is, Stephanie, no problem. Pull out everything here, get it going, tie those down, cut that off. Which cricket did you get? Trisha, did you get the maker? I know, I'm kind of trying to decide if I want to put the money out fun. Um, I got this from Michaels, It's or Michaels or AC Moore. It's just one of those jewelry hole punches. It is great. I use it all of the time. And I know I have little pumpkins. I've got to pull them out. I have to find them. Oh, really? Yeah, I um, I just I keep going back and forth about where, you know, if I should get one or which one I should get or so. It's still in the box, Annette. Pull that baby out. Yeah, I like learning new things too. I do too. All right, there it is. Now look, you guys. Oh my word, you guys are killing me. I know, I have to pull them out. I know I have them somewhere. I just, I haven't found that box yet. Okay, so, do you see how thin it is? That's why it's called the pancake wreath. Now, so, because it's so thin, I mean, it is only, it's like three inches. Three inches. And it is from, tw like, 22 inches wide. But isn't this cute? I love it. I, lo I know. It only took, what, 25 minutes to make? Like I said, I need to pull out, I need to find my pumpkins because I think, you know, putting like a little pumpkin in the middle of each one of these would be adorable. <clears throat> oh, you got to, I know, I've been looking on my local yard sale sites for them, um, you know, to see if I can find one. 
Right, this is listed in my Etsy shop. Look how cute that is. Please like, follow, and share my page if you do not already. Yeah, they they really are cute. And, you know, I love these round signs. In fact, I just ordered a bunch more that I'm going to be selling in my shop. Um, because this is perfect. I mean, it's, it's perfect for these pancake wreaths. And it makes an awesome looking wreath. Oh, I love how this turned out. And... Um, You know they turn out great so and tomorrow night in my group we're going to be um, going through how to pick um, thank you Mary I'm going we're going to be going through how to pick out ribbons and matching them to a sign and that kind of stuff so for all my groupies out there Alberta it's totally up to you um, it's the the maker will cut um, like everything and even like some wood and some leather and that kind of thing the Cricut doesn't cut the wood um, it's it cuts a certain kind of wood so if you want to cut like maybe woods for sign <laughs> thanks um, you know that kind of stuff so I don't know the sign came from Craft Outlet, but I am getting some signs in my Etsy shop soon, but this came from Craft Outlet. I know I love the sign, but isn't that adorable? It's so stinking cute. So, you cut leather with yours? Okay, I didn't know if you could cut leather with that one, but I know the maker you can cut like balsam wood. Um... I can't remember the thickness of it, but I know you can cut like balsam wood with it, um, that kind of thing. So, um, hmm, yes. Okay, so let me see. So this one is in my shop. If anybody's interested, I'm going to change the price since I didn't use all that material. So it's in my shop for $50, and I will share it so that if anybody is interested in it, okay, so there is the um, listing for the wreath. And we are good to go and I think yeah so I think Thursday night I'm gonna be doing the pancake wreath on a square frame I'm gonna I've never seen that done but I wanted to do it because I have this pull this over here. I have this sign and this I sell in my shop but I have this sign that I wanted to um, do you had to watch Jeopardy. You're funny. <laughs> oh no, he lost. Oh boy. Um, but I wanted to make for my um, nephew's wife is due, and we have a um, baby shower for her. So I'm gonna make this on Thursday night with the pancake method. But I want to do it on a square frame. I haven't seen it done on a square frame, so I'm gonna do this Thursday night. And I have my ribbons all picked out already, and all cut and ready to go. Um, so I'm excited. So that I'm going to do on Thursday night. Oh, hey, Nicole, how are you? So that's what we're going to be doing Thursday night. But tomorrow night in group, like I said, all my groupies, don't forget, pick out your sign and your ribbons. Um, you did, yeah. So that's what we're going to do Thursday night. And then, um, that's it. I think we're good. So we are good to go, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I know it was a quick one because this wreath went really fast. <clears throat> oh, boy. All right, guys. Have a wonderful evening. If you have any questions, let me know. Like I said, this is in my Etsy shop. Um, oh, yay, Stephanie, congratulations. 
Thanks, Trisha. All right, guys, I will see you Thursday night. And um, I know I'm going to be adding a bunch of stuff to my shop because I went to um, a uh, wholesale convention today and I got some stuff. So I want to show the ladies in my live group tomorrow night because they get first dibs at everything. So girls, be prepared for that. I'm excited to show you that. All right, guys. I will see you Thursday night. Have a wonderful evening and a great rest of your week. Bye. Thanks for watching.